Boa, Kelly. Não. I've been going through some things. It's uh, it's all okay though. It's just nothing bad or nothing like that. It's just the car. The time we fix something, something else needs to be fixed and stuff like that. Uh, I'm not making these bitches to get subscribers to make money on YouTube. I'm not doing none of that. This whole like, comment, subscribe thing. It's just. Like, comment, subscribe if you like these videos and get more of them. I'm pretty much only doing this because time of this uh, this COVID-19 and all this crap going on in the world. It's just something that, that just makes me feel good. It's just something that I want to look back on, go on YouTube, watch my videos from the COVID when this crap is over. And so my family can look at and stuff like that. I, I, Somebody tell my family, hey, if you want to see me, go on YouTube, you know what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> see how I'm doing? I don't fabricate anything on YouTube. I don't I do not do anything like that. What you see is what you get. This is me. This is how I dress. This is how I talk. This is how I do things. This is, this is me. Uh, probably going to put a little disclaimer at the front of my videos from now on. Uh, because I drink, not heavily, I don't drink like that, I'm not an alcoholic or nothing, I just, I like my beer, I like, I love my beer, there is some tobacco use on this channel, on, on my bitches, speaking of, uh, speaking of, I always put one in, I told you I'd show you a stealth, and I ain't never done that, so let's do that. Grizzly Premium Winter Green. I'm not a cope guy. I don't do skull and stuff like that. Now, every now and then, if I can't find a uh, Grizzly Winter Green, if it's out of stock and whatever, whatever, uh, I'll go for some uh, Copenhagen Winter Green. Go for some Copenhagen winter green every now and then. I don't like it. It's sweet. I like it. Copenhagen's not my favorite. But I do like that uh, uh, Copenhagen winter green. It has kind of a, a little bit of a, a, a sweet smell to it. I mean, not smell, taste. It has kind of a sweet taste to it. Well, it kind of smells a little sweet too, but... Let me do this. I'm on my phone right now. Let me put it down. All right. Um, shit. Now, you don't have to pack it like I do. I, I sit there and I just... I pack away. That's a... Just a force of habit. Like, that. you don't need to. It doesn't do anything. It just... That's really all you need right there. It's three packs. But, I mean, I do it just out of force of habit. <sighs> Looks good. This can, was, this can was already cracked. I've had it cracked for a day now. But, yeah, there's some black goodness. That winter green. I'm getting a little pinch. I ain't going to do a, a monster pinch in this one. I'm just going to throw a little taste in. That's good, right there. Mm. Nice and cold. So, uh, yeah, I just wanted to make this video and, and it let y'all know I'm not looking for subscribers. I'm not looking for none of that. I'm, I'm just, I'm just having fun. Me and me. I don't. I don't need to make no money on YouTube. I don't need none of that.
mud jug of the day, black still. Oop, a little spit up. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. Uh, I ain't looking for uh, fans and stuff like that. I get drunk sometimes. I say some things that might imply that I'm trying to make money and stuff like that on YouTube. Future fans and whatnot in, in the first video. I ain't doing none of that. Damn, I forget how to dip or what? Man, uh, man, this shit is juicy at this minute in the fridge today. I was just running, I'm a little hungover and stuff like that, but it'll be all good. <coughs> so yeah, this is me, this is my life. Uh, this YouTube crap, just for fun, dude, just for fun. I ain't looking for no, uh, uh, money from YouTube. I ain't looking for anybody to put no uh, ads or commercials on my crap. I mean, it'd be badass. Don't get me wrong. It'd be badass to hit, like, fucking a million subscribers and stuff like that. It'd be bad to the bone, dude. But I ain't looking for none of that. I'm just having fun, coming back, having fun. Um, showing you how I'm living my life. This is how I live my life. This is who I am. This, I'm not fabricating. I'm not acting, I'm not doing anything different than how I do it in life. I'm just turning on a camera and living every day, talking to people that aren't even here. <laughs> I am a redneck, I'm a country boy, I do things like that, I've roped, I've ride, I've uh, worked on farms, take care, and I mean farm, I don't mean that like a couple acres type shit. I mean like 30, 40, 50 acres worth of farms and stuff like that. Taking care of thousands of chickens, 15 horses, uh, 20 cows. I ride horses. I do stuff like that. I just, uh, I'm living here in San Antonio. I know it ain't no country. I know it ain't no country. But I mean... It's all right. I don't, I don't really like uh, San Antonio's all right. I'm not gonna say I don't like San Antonio. San Antonio's all right. I just do not like the big city. I do not like cities. This ain't even a big city. This is a pretty small city, but I don't like city life. I don't. I'm a country boy. I like that country life. I like being able to go outside and not hear a bunch of noise and crap like that. I like being able to go outside and hear pace, hear crickets, hear hear everything. The, the grasshoppers. I like uh, going out the backyard sometimes, hunting and stuff like that. And that's where I came from when, when I lived out in the country before. Uh, I stayed on five acres. Uh, I used to be able to go outside, out to my backyard, and go boar hunting all the time. It was fun. I liked it. First time I killed a boar, I almost got killed. <laughs> Country life is uh, tough, but it's fun. I love it. I love it to death. I didn't choose this redneck life. This redneck life chose me. Shout out. <laughs> Chris Jensen. My shit. That's my shit. Chris Jansen. Uh, but yeah. I'm not promoted by mud jug and stuff, but I love these mud jugs. They're made in America. They're tough. They're, they don't spill. Throw them around. I mean, I wouldn't suggest throwing it around because I love this shit, but black mud jug. I like the black one because it's like 
I ain't discriminating. Um, I like the black one because, well, honestly, I don't even have a reason. I just like it. It's pretty. Uh, I'm going to get some more mud jugs. Right now, I have three of them. It, it came in the combo pack. <clears throat> the original, the roadie, and the stealth. The roadie's uh, down in the car right now in the uh, seat. I don't have no godly idea where my original is at the moment. Uh, nose don't stop running, dude. But I got the uh, stealth. They all sit nice and fine right on this little shelf right here I put them all up there when uh, I'm not using them except for the uh, roadie that stays down in the car the original it should be up there right now but I have no idea where the hell it is I've got to wash it too uh, yeah I'm a little nice funnel and everything like that I love these. I love these. They're made in America. They're not. They're not your spit buds. They're not nothing like that. This is 100%. Let's see if I got that right. Mud jug. Get you one at mudjug.com. I'm promoting them, but I am not paid by them. I'm not a promoter. I just love promoting these things because I love these things. I love them. Uh, this one. I have to go around and do this damn button here. I don't know how much time I have left, but let me quickly show you this. I love putting it in my pocket and walk around with it hands free. Tuck the little flap in right there of your pocket. Hands free spitting. You're working or something? If you well, I mean, not 100% hands free. Don't don't let me lie to you. Um, you working or something, you got it in your pocket, take your hand real quick, go back to working. Drop it and go back to working. Or, if you work in business or something, and you don't want to, you don't want to have your mud jug showing and everything, put it in your pocket like that. Nice little pocket size mud jug. That's what stealth is. That's why they call it a stealth. You could uh, put it in your pocket. Ain't nobody going to see it. It's stealthy. It's stealthy. But that'll do it for this one. Uh, boy, Cali. I got that name from a... a I was born in California. In Riverside. Riverside, California. I was born in Riverside, California, okay? In Riverside County. So, back in uh, 1996. Uh, so, the, the, the thing is, is I was out here, I told that to a, a friend of mine that I met out here in, uh, in San Antonio. And when, uh, when he heard that I was from Cali, I told him, yeah, people call me Cali Boy and stuff like that. Cali Boy. This dude is funny. This dude is funny, dude. He, he rarely comes over. I barely see him. But he's funny. So, he started calling me Boy Cali instead of Cali Boy. And it just kind of stuck. I liked it. It's different. It's like, Boy Cali, who, who says that? Who 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 is called Boy Cali? Who do you know? Let me know. Let me know. But I started going by Boy Cali. So in the Riverside Redneck thing, I am a redneck. I, I love my redneck life. So and I'm from Riverside. So that Boy Cali, Riverside, Redneck. California, Riverside. Boy redneck, you know what I'm saying? It just kind of fits. It fits. It fits all together. So I'm Boy Cali Riverside redneck, and this will be for me.